Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to today's Pick a Card Reading and it is Spirit Guide Messages for this week. This is basically a little um, helper from the guides to get you your best week possible, to help you solve a problem in your life during this week, something along these lines. Uh, along these lines, sorry. So yeah, hope it's really helpful and welcome to anyone new, welcome back to anyone returning. My name's Kat. Uh, if you'd like a private reading with me, you can check the description box below. But today is just a small, a small snapshot. <laughs> Here we go. Spirit guide messages for this week. Hi, Group One. How are you doing? So let's have a look at your spirit guide messages. We've got three of wands, the hermit, four of cups, four of cups again, double four of cups next to each other. Wow, really strong. You'll find this if you have a private private reading with me. The guide normally sends you a double card. I use two tarot decks and they nearly always send a double. Um, and this is the main message. So here you've got a double, uh, double card. So the main thing is that you are, this week you are saying no to something. Um, now, just let me explain. Some of you need to say no to something. Some of you, the reason why something's happening is because you are maybe even unconsciously saying no to something. Um, if you're waiting for something to be offered to you, it's already being offered, you just can't see it. So for example, I'm going to use a really obvious example, which I think will be relevant to at least one of you watching, which is, for example, you could be waiting for the person you care about to ask you on a date or to finally break free of an old relationship or something like that. And you're waiting for them. But actually, somebody else outside your range of vision is wanting to offer the relationship or a new start to you, you don't see it because you're very focused on this particular person. So that's just one example. And it doesn't mean that if you're in that situation, that has to be about you. Um, listen to whatever resonates. But the point is that there's something being offered to you. And for the moment, you are saying no. Now, some of you, like I say, this is going to be a resolution because you'll like be like, oh, okay. So it's not that there isn't an option there. It's just that I'm not open to it. I can't see it. Um, this will explain why some of you can't see it. And this is their advice. <laughs> the opportunity hasn't come yet um, because you either need to take a break um, to recover or you're still saying no to that situation. What they're saying is that overthinking, anxiety, stress, sleepless nights, not getting enough sleep, not getting enough rest, not connecting with yourself enough could be the problem. The solution this week is to be intuitive, the hermit. You need some time out. You need some time to yourself. You need to recover. You need to connect with your deeper self. Your ship hasn't come in yet, three of wands. The opportunity isn't here yet. Um, and it's partly, and it's because either you're saying no or this opportunity has been ignored or something like that. The answer on every level is to relax, is to take some time to connect with yourself and then the answer, solution or whatever you need to do will start to flow towards you. So I hope this makes sense. Loads of love. See you on the next reading or in a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. Bye guys. Hi group two, how are you doing? So we've got the Queen of Swords. So this is Spirit Guide messages for you. Queen of Swords, Six of Cups, the Chariot, Five of Wands, Two of Wands. Okay, so this week for you, what's your message? How can you move forwards? What's the best thing for you to do? Um, there's something returning, lover returning, childhood returning. There's something from the past coming back or something to do with the past that's pertinent. Nostalgia, looking backwards, patterns, old patterns things from childhood all that sort of thing it's stuff to do with looking in the rearview mirror or your past in some way or nostalgia in some way what they're asking you to do is to move forwards look forwards not back yes that's oh look yes because they're showing me chariot this here which is like you know like a path into the future into the light look forwards not back it's not going to be easy queen of swords is saying you've got to be clear clear focus clear-minded focused not getting caught up in the past not getting caught up in um your own fears let's say not getting caught up in um emotions it's about being very very determined very very clear very very sure about the direction you're wanting to go in you've got to be 
absolutely focused, all right, on, on moving forwards, on looking forwards. The chariot says there are things in your way, could be people. Uh, five, of, uh, five of wands is people in the way, opposition, arguments, issues, people, uh, competition, people getting, like I say, people getting in the way. People and situation, things getting in the way. It's external things that are getting in the way, not things internally, although there may be things internally, but they're saying regarding your situation, this is an external personal problem situation. What they're saying is don't take any action right now. Dream big, have big plans for yourself, have big plans for your future, focus on your future, focus on your dreams and where you want to go and stay very, very focused and determined. The, the, the chariot and the queen of swords is a strong message. You can't get caught up in the drama and the problems in the here and now. You've got to stay focused on the bigger picture and on the long range and wait to take action. Don't take action this week. I, I think for most of you, like when I say I think is the reason I'm saying that is that there's always an exception on a general meeting. Uh, so generally the, the message this week is that you need to be very, very focused and clear, very determined, have the ideas, spend this week cooking up the ideas, but don't take action yet. Probably a better opportunity will come in the future, you know, and probably you're not um, aiming quite enough in the right direction yet or something like that. But you'll see in the coming weeks. Hope this makes sense. Loads of love. See you on the next reading. I want a private reading in the meantime. See you soon. Hi, group three. How are you doing? So we've got the Empress here. So this is uh, Spirit Guide messages for you for this week. The Empress, Temperance, Ten of Cups, Seven of Cups, um, Eight of Coins. So you have got a situation going on here. Um, how can you move forwards? What's the best thing for you this week? They're saying you've got to connect with the with the universe. You've got to connect with the earth, the empress. This is creativity. This is divine feminine. This is allowing the feminine to come through. This is about um, being uh, feeling super connected to the earth and to life. This is about birthing something new, allowing something new to come through. It's about um, being... Um, like I say, being creative, allowing this feminine to rise, it, it, it's being sort of knowing when to rest and play, knowing when to, when to work and when not, but it is about nurturing, it is about caring, it is, for some of you, it's about motherhood, it's about bringing this new, uh, it's, a, it's about bringing something new into the world. So this can be a creative project. This can be a new phase in your life. This can be an actual child or this can be a job. But it's about creative action moving forwards. What they're saying regarding that is temperance wins the day. This is patience, balance, calmness, tranquility, being intelligent, being understanding, um, not allowing things to unfold naturally, not being too uh, crazy. What I would say is with the eight of coins here as well, is that like balance and self-awareness and self-development and taking your time and being very dedicated and being very measured in everything you do will get you the ten of cups, the happy outcome. You need to be calm, you need to be steady, you need to be even, you need to take it easy. With the Seven of Cups, they're saying you feel confused because there's a lot of different ways you can go about this. Listen to your intuition. You're afraid to make the wrong mistake. The wrong. You're afraid to make a mistake. You're afraid to make the wrong, to take the wrong action or to take the wrong turn or whatever. What they're saying is don't worry about that. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your uh, own nature. Listen to where you're being guided. You have got a happy outcome to come. Ten of Cups is happily ever after everything coming together but in order to do that you have to um, really follow the signs and signals and you need to be calmer and more balanced and and work on yourself as well because what they're saying is there's something in the way here the eight of coins is about working on your own on yourself to to really master yourself and the situation so i hope this helps and makes sense so loads of love guys i'll see you on the next reading on a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. Bye.